Well, let me tell you something about Mr. Rafael Sanchez. Everybody thinks they know Mr. Call 6 uh, for help guy. He's been around uh, on uh, Channel 6 forever, but he used to be a producer. He was my first uh, producer when I worked. In he used to be in my earpiece all If you the don't time. know what a producer is, they sort of put together the news shows. Yeah. They put it all together. Well, who, he is multi-talented. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there are a lot of sides to Rafael Sanchez. Great guy, and you're going to get to meet him right now. Nine months pregnant, struck, dragged, left on the street, screaming in pain. Now, for the first time, she tells her miraculous story. What would you want to say to the man who hit you with his truck, drove away, and left you behind? Watch Monday on 6 News at 6. So we're here on the set of RTV6 with Rafael Sanchez. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you for coming to my home. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's been your home for a little while now. 21 years That's in not February. Possible. In February. Yeah. Well, congratulations. It's great to be here. It's great to be a part of this great team, so it's good to be here. So, hey, but I know this is your show. Yeah. But officially, oh. we must do the opening selfie. So, welcome to our TV I like the lighting, yeah. Thank you, Rafael. That's so cool. Uh, this uh, Call Six for Help has really changed so many people's lives. I love it. I, you know, is that your passion as far as... I feel like I'm a social worker on TV. Oh, yes. I mean, that's what I do. It is. I mean, so we get all these stories that come in mm -hmm. and we have to sort of go through them all and mm -hmm. figure out what are the needs and what's happening. And in our case, we try to find systematic issues. So beyond just the pothole, what's leading to that problem with that pothole, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Right. Why isn't the city doing that? Or why isn't the state government fixing that? Is there, is there something broken in the system? So our job is to figure that out. But I just love being able to help people. You know, you have helped a lot of people. And you mentioned a little bit about the process of how you select the stories that you do. Um, how, how do they trickle down? Because you must get so many requests. And team how do you figure it out? Well, just the team gets together. We obviously, the emails come in, mm -hmm. Facebook Messenger, oh. either tweeted at us, right, or mm -hmm. emails and phone calls, uh, aisle six in the supermarket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, right? right. Anywhere, anywhere I go publicly, people have a question. Oh. Um, but that's awesome, though, because it's, again, it's just good to know that people feel connected. And then the team, whether it's Kara or Paris, mm -hmm. or Mark or Amanda, they, mm -hmm. we go through emails. We go through uh, and try to figure out which story can have the most impact. Right. I have a job to do. So right. if I need to chase you down, if I need to crack down on something, if I have to hold you accountable, mm -hmm. uh, I don't hold back. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to make sure that you answer our questions. But that's the professional side. Right. Right? And mm -hmm. then when it's time to do other stuff, I'm going to laugh with you. So hopefully you catch me at a day that I want to laugh with you as opposed to when I need to chase you down. Yes. I am much nicer <laughs> laughing with you as opposed then to, right? Yes, or, yes, running you down with a question. <laughs> That's funny. Get out of my way. You are pathetic. Then you are a buffoon. Nothing will save you. You're going to go down. The wrath of God is on its way. When, when I go out to public events mm -hmm. and I break out my thing and I laugh and I move around. He's an MC, Raphael. And I put on my shiny jacket yeah. and, and the, the shining shoes. People go, oh. oh my gosh. And I break out the selfie stick and go, hey, let's take a selfie. <laughs> People go, what is going on? It's funny. You see them going, Wait, uh, is that, uh, what, is that the news guy? Is that the TV yeah. guy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah because we're here to have a good time. And mm -hmm. so I, I want to have a good time, but I do about 50 community events throughout the year. Oh, my and goodness. So, but, 52 but weeks, that's every week. But that's my, here's my hobby. <gasps> I have these shiny jackets. I have this, a money suit, a pineapple suit, a flamingo suit. I have these shiny shoes. I mean, I will do whatever it takes to really help an organization raise money. Uh, uh huh. Right. So I will have so much fun with the groups uh -huh. that they'll go, what is going on? Yeah, that extra mile. But at mile. the end of the day, is just to make sure that people are engaged, mm -hmm. they listen to the message, and that we raise money for good causes. And they so. remember that, I'm sure, the shiny stuff. Oh, Did I wrote, you see Rafael Sanchez? I rode a bike. Suit? What? I, I rode a, 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 I brought my bicycle and I rode it to uh, the Indiana Black Expo yeah? corporate luncheon because I had to get the 2,000 people's attention. So oh. I rode my bike around and said, hey, everybody, it's time to raise money. But it gets the point across, uh -huh. which is, you know what? Let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. Let's have a good time. So my, so my hobby is to work with a lot of social service organizations and help them raise money. Yeah. yeah. So your passion is your hobby, too, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I have more hope now that somebody's going to speak for me. Come in here, it's kind of like Easter and find an Easter egg. There's just no substitute for an event like this that connects live people with agencies. Is the most rewarding part, is it, would it be like teamwork or helping people solve problems or raising money for the community? 
I love what I do and all the things that are attached to it. And I think I'm, I'm blessed, really, mm -hmm. as a person of faith, to be able to come into a, a place where I just love this place. Mm -hmm. And then all the things that come with it. And whether mm -hmm. it's helping people, whether it's uh, being connected with the community, um, meeting interesting people like yourself. Because every day, as you know, because you do this every day, mm -hmm. you and Paul, you just talk to a lot of great Hoosiers. Mm -hmm. And I think if people really took the time just to get out their door and just talk to someone across mm -hmm. the street or, or down the way, they would find that they have so much in common with their fellow neighbor. And I think if we just took a little bit of time to do that, mm -hmm. that'd be great. I always tell people that I want to be Oprah. Remember yes. When Oprah, remember when Oprah said, you get a car, you, you get, get a car, car you, you get, get a, a car. car. But I realized that I'm never going to be Right. A female African American. <laughs> I came to see. right, right. But well, here's what I realized, though. I don't think so. Without well, not um, in this lifetime. No, right? probably not. And not even with Botox <laughs> or surgery is that going to happen. But here's what I realized. A suit's not going to make that happen either. A funny suit. Um, <laughs> but I realized in that vein, yeah, uh, we can do something in our zip code. Mm -hmm. Just one little thing, yeah. right? So I tell people, just do one little mm -hmm. thing in your world, mm -hmm. and I think that could have that that difference. So. This affords me that opportunity to be able to work with great people, uh, to do great things, and just have a good life. Rafael Sanchez, <laughs> I'm Julie Patterson for Boomer TV. Thanks for watching. <laughs>